Tampa education pioneer Dr. Walter Smith turned to our I team after a for sale sign appeared in front of the nonprofit community library that Smith founded nearly 20 years ago. An I team investigator Adam Walser sorted out what caused the mix up and simple steps that could have prevented it. The signs are faded and the pain is peeling. But Walter Smith II says what's inside this old building is priceless. There's so much that's here in terms of history and books and information that you will not find anywhere in circulation in any other library. Smith's dad, former Florida A&M University President Dr. Walter L. Smith, founded the nonprofit Dr. Walter Smith Library Incorporated in 2004, describing it as a library, research, and learning center in the West Tampa community. Among the exhibits, a letter from President Obama, tribal dolls presented by Nelson Mandela, and a signed first edition of Booker T. Washington's autobiography. The library also has offered after-school tutoring and GED classes to a generation of West Tampa residents. The chance for these kids to have an education that they, that they deserve can happen right here. The chance for adults who need that second chance can happen right here. County records show Dr. Smith deeded the land and buildings to the nonprofit organization in 2007. But after Smith died, his widow's attorney listed the library as an asset in his probate case. Well, she was told that in order to pay off the, the debts that were left behind, that she would have to sell the library. This is credit card debt. This is cell phones. This is unsecured debt. Right. Andy Lyons is a real estate attorney and title company owner, but is not involved in this case. A very simple title search, a very simple due diligence would have shown that that is not an asset that was in the decedent's name. It has no business being put in the probate at all. Last month, the library was listed for sale. There was a for sale sign in front of the library, and I had no idea. I was, I was blindsided. The listing, which says calling all investors, states there is plenty of room to turn this into the home of your dreams. My father used to always tell us if we, if we ever sold this corner, he was coming back from hell and beat us with the devil's pitchfork. Smith and his siblings are listed on state documents as directors of the nonprofit. Did the lawyer or the realtor ever call you or no. your siblings? No, none of us has been contacted, not one. The property, listed at $399,900, went under contract in six days. Uh, that means that someone signed a contract to sell this piece of property that had no authority to do so. That would be like me selling your house. That would be exactly, that's exactly right. It'd be like you signing a contract to sell my house without me giving any permission to do so. Smith isn't blaming his stepmother. She depends on the attorneys to do what they were supposed to do in terms of due diligence. Realtor Jeffrey Borum told us attorney Bryce Zocklin asked him to list the property. Zocklin declined an on-camera interview, but after I sent him copies of county, state, and IRS documents I found in public records, he wrote, if as you suggest in your email, it is determined that the decedent does not have an ownership interest and the property is controlled exclusively by the board as a nonprofit, the sale will be canceled immediately. Days later, attorney Zocklin sent another email saying the real estate agent is removing all signage ASAP. Please relay my apologies for the confusion. I'm glad that you guys are doing what you're doing to help out with this. I really appreciate it. Walter Smith II vows to continue his father's legacy and reopen the library. We cannot allow it to be wiped from history, erased from history. We cannot allow it to happen. And a... $400,000 property deal. Not worth it. Not worth it. I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Randy Wright taking action for you.